Welcome back to YouTube, we have Ahmed again from in-depth tech reviews and in today's video I will compare two of the most key features in iOS 15, live text and visual lookup with Google Lens to see which one is more accurate and useful in day-to-day -day usage. The comparison will take place on my 12 Pro Max running iOS 15 beta and my Pixel 4a on Android 12 beta 2. The comparison will cover six different categories when it comes to text and visual recognition, then I will compare the extra features offered by both. So without further ado, let's jump in. The first category is the text recognition. I will start by using a business card. It has the place name, an address, email, phone number, and a website. So let's see how each one will handle this. To trigger the text recognition on my Pixel phone, first I point the camera towards the business card, tap and hold on the viewfinder, then it will take a snapshot with the recognized text highlighted. In iOS 15, it doesn't work the same way. When I point the camera, it will pick different parts of the business card separately. So to make things easier for the comparison, I will take a picture first, then open the Photos app, and tap on the live text button which is the same thing and this is how i will do it on ios from now on unless it required otherwise so let's take a look at the results starting with the email address both recognized it correctly and offered similar options like send an email add to contacts or copy but they also have different options that i'm going to talk about later in this comparison but as far as the recognition goes both worked as expected and deserve a point tapping the phone number worked exactly the same so another point for both Let's try the website, and once more, both recognized it correctly. Now let's try the address by highlighting it in both. In Google Lens, it searched for the location right after highlighting the text and it provided me with the details from Google search. In live text, it gave me few options, one of them is lookup, which is the one I need to search for the location. Tapping on it didn't show me any results at first, but it gave me the option to search the web. Doing so did open the same location card shown on my Pixel 4a, which is correct, but the process was longer on iOS and that's why I will give Google Lens an extra point here. Finally, let's try the place name and here both picked the right location. Now I'm gonna make things a little bit harder by using text written by hand. Here I have my website, my email, a fake phone number and an address. So let's give it a try. I took the same picture on both phones. So let's start with the website. Google Lens managed to read my handwriting just fine and navigated to the proper web page. While live text replaced the first dot with a dash and the last W with a U, which ended up with an incorrect URL. For the email address, once more, Google Lens got it 100% correct and gave me the options relevant to the email. While live text replaced the at sign with number two and tried to navigate to it as if it's a web page. And when it comes to the phone number, both recognized it correctly without any issues. However, Google Lens didn't give me the option to call or text the number like in live text. So I will give an extra point to live text in this one. Finally, the address. Google Lens got it correctly and showed me the location details right away, while live text messed up three letters and added an extra space that doesn't exist. So in the text recognition category, Google Lens is clearly the winner when it comes to handwriting and dealing with addresses, with a score of 10 points versus 7 points for live text. Now let's move on to translating text. In this category, I will translate some French text to English using a photo taken from my computer screen and another one written by hand. So let's begin. I will start with the photo taken from my computer screen. Google Lens will write the translated text right on top of the image. So to make things easier to read, I will paste it in a note. I went through the translated text and found both to deliver the same meaning with some differences in the words used. So I think both are fine and deserve the same point. Now let's try the handwritten one. I wrote one of the paragraphs by hand and took a photo on both phones. So let's see the difference. Google Lens translated the text really well and it didn't miss anything. While live text had a lot of mistakes, like repeating the word education, it wrote the word East, which doesn't exist. It didn't translate the word obligatory and kept it in French and there are a lot of weird spaces. So the win goes to Google Lens in this category and now it's time for today's sponsor. Before jumping to the next category, let's give a quick shout out to today's sponsor, cdkoffers.com. From CDK Offers, you can purchase original Microsoft Windows 10 and Office keys in a very discounted price. Not only this, but you can also use my special promo code ID20 to get extra 20% discount. As you see, you can get yourself a Windows 10 OEM key for $16.18, which is insanely cheap. Please check the links in the description below. Now let's get back to the review.
The third category in this comparison is identifying objects. Before starting the comparison, let me explain how the visual lookup feature of iOS 15 works. If you have an image open in the Photos app and the phone identified anything in this image, the information icon will show two small stars next to it and when you tap on it, you will see a small button at the bottom right corner of the image. Tapping on it will show you more information from the web about the thing you have in your photo. So now let's start the comparison. And I will try some random photos I took using the camera of both phones. And here's an image of the iPhone XR. Google Lens got it in just a second and showed me a lot of photos and links related to the phone. While Apple's visual lookup feature didn't recognize anything in the shot and that's why it didn't show me an icon at the bottom right corner of the image. Here's another image of my Xbox One S controller and again Google Lens got it in seconds while visual lookup didn't show any signs of recognizing it. The third image is for a chair I bought from Ikea. Again Google Lens got the same chair from the web and still no success with visual lookup. One more image for my Kodak Mini 3 Retro printer and Google Lens impressively nailing it for the fourth time and visual lookup still failing. So that was an easy win for Google Lens. Now let's move on to the popular landmarks category. The first image I have is for Albert Memorial in London. So let's see the results and both got it correctly. The second image is for the Shard Tower in London as well and once more both were correct. The third one is for the Yellow Bridge in Bali, Indonesia so let's see the results. Google Lens got that without an issue while Visual Lookup didn't recognize anything in the shot. The fourth image is for the Tolerance Bridge in Dubai. Again Google Lens nailed it while Live Lookup recognized it as the Millennium Bridge in Newcastle. I checked all the results shown and none of them is correct. The last one is a blurry image for Burj Khalifa in Dubai and Google Lens is still identifying the landmark even though the image quality is not great, while Visual Lookup couldn't identify anything. So the win goes to Google Lens with 5 points versus 2 for Visual Lookup. The next category is for plants and flowers. I have some photos taken with the camera of both phones, so let's see the results. I'm not good at plant names but both recognized it as Madagascar Perwinkle and showed similar images. So both gets the point. Here's the second image and both recognized it as fountain grass so another point for both. One final image and both agree for the third time that the flower name is Adenium Opsum so it was a tie between the two in this category. Now let's move on to the pets and animals. Starting with the pets this is a photo for the golden retriever I downloaded from the internet and both got it correctly. Another one for Sphinx Cat and once more both are correct. But as per iOS 15 release notes visual lookup only works with pets. So for example here's a photo of the white tiger I took in Bali Zoo. Google Lens gave me similar images and related links which is correct while visual lookup didn't recognize anything. So the win goes to Google Lens in this category. Now let's talk about the exclusive features offered by each one. Honestly, I couldn't find any feature in Apple's live text or visual lookup not already available in Google Lens. However, there are some features missing instead. Like solving math problems using Google Lens or the ability to identify food. In Google Lens, you can translate text in 103 languages versus only 12 in Apple's live text. So Apple is still scratching the surface here and I don't think they will catch up with Google Smart Services anytime soon. But that's definitely a good move for iOS users to have something similar to Google Lens natively supported by the OS that can easily integrate with other Apple devices. So that's pretty much it for today. That was my comparison between Google Lens and Apple's live text and visual lookup. So I hope you like my video and if you do, please hit the thumbs up and subscribe for more videos. Thank you for watching.